Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for November 29th, 2022. Well, we are rapidly approaching the end of this month, and we had a little bit of a bearish attack yesterday. They, those bears found a little bit of a weakness in the bullish armor, pushing us down yesterday, largely in response to hawkish FOMC statements and concerns over Chinese protests. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information how we might want to approach today on this Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can figure out how we may want to move forward with this week with a little bit of uncertainty now showing up in the chart. Now although we had that bearish push here and as I had mentioned yesterday um, if those bears find inspiration it could be a relatively painful pullback and you can see if you were jumping in uh, you know uh, at the end of the holiday here um, trying to jump in and trade this market well we took the last three days back all at once on that move making that kind of a painful pull back here and what we want to um, take from this chart right now is maybe we just have to respect that price resistance here in the chart just a little bit that maybe that price resistance could provide a little bit of a stumbling block to us in the chart now having said that you can't you can't call this a bearish chart um, if you look right in here we're still holding on to um, some trend here in the chart and we have yet to break down below any support levels that i talked about yesterday that support right in there will be interesting to see whether or not it can hold this morning as you can see we're trying to pop up here just a little bit maybe a little bit of uncertainty on the path forward here and we moved yesterday in such a low volume manner that um, we kind of lack that momentum or that directional uh, momentum to give us in any kind of hint as to what happens next whether there'll be a follow-through to the downside or if we find that support and the bulls bounce off of that so today if we can find some bullish inspiration in the market i would be looking right in here for that price resistance can we rally back up through that area and um, defeat that resistance in the chart but if those bears find inspiration first step was we're going to watch this level right in here if we were to fail that level take out yesterday's low that could be a bit of a problem for us because our next level of price support would be right down in here that's another um, six seven hundred points um, to the downside um, on that so we'll want to watch that pretty closely now if we take a look at our technicals in the chart technicals in the chart certainly have not been hurt at all we still have this 500 day moving average in the chart that could hold us as support so um, watch that close but you know there may be just a little bit of uncertainty that's raised its head in the market here and maybe we're showing um the fact that our uh, upside trend here in the dow is a bit on the parabolic side and either needs a more substantial pullback or a longer term consolidation to uh, build a support level in there for the dow now let's take a look at our spy the SPY hasn't done nearly as well as the Dow in moving up and we still have that overall resistance in the chart to be paying attention to so keep that in mind here as as we move along but we've got quite a bit of resistance in here to pay attention to in that chart if we find some bullish inspiration today we've created this little bit of a resistance level as you can see kind of a double top situation going on here but that being said again we still have not given up the upside trend here in the chart and if those bears are inspired well we still have price support 
down in this area that we'll want to watch. Now there is some price support right in here and if we bounce off of that level then no harm no foul here in the market. If we push down in here there probably would be a bit more concern coming into the market but that would be right there where we would kind of engage with that upside trend. So no technical damage has been made here in the chart. Maybe just a little concern being raised here overall in the market and technically if we take a look at those uh, charts we're still struggling with that 200 day moving average and I think this is going to be kind of a very important thing for us to be watching. This 200 day moving average is right now being kind of a psychological barrier to the market. Um, the test will be if we can break on through there. I think if we break on through there, institutions are going to be emboldened to really start buying heavily um, in, in the market. However, if we were to un be unable to break through that and move on down toward that 50-day moving average, I think that's a different story. That's going to raise some questions and maybe keep those bears a little bit more active here in the market. If we were to take a look at at our QQQ. QQQ remains the weakest of the market and of course the news yesterday that the protests are um, heavily affecting Apple's production uh, over there so well that certainly did not help the situation and then having bonds push up just a little bit yesterday didn't help um, that NASDAQ but the good thing that you can say about the NASDAQ at least at the moment is that we're holding on to this support level we haven't really given it up yet we're kind of hanging in there on it it is a little bit on shaky terms you know um, if we were to breach or break down below there that could really create some issues here for the market. Now, one thing we will want to be paying attention to is the fact that this is technically a lower high. So the lower high doesn't really mean anything unless we make a lower low, but it does raise that concern uh, level in the market um, after that selling yesterday. So we'll want to watch that close. Perhaps what we're doing is we're just resting in a tightening wedge here that continues to wind around in this area and just kind of spill off a little bit of volatility. That may be the situation that we're dealing with here, but I would continue to watch carefully if we were to break this low. That might shake the confidence here in the market. If we take a look at our Russell, IWM had a pretty rough day yesterday um, with some um, selling that came in pretty strong. Now our volume in all of the indexes was, was relatively light, so we can't really say momentum is on the side of the bears here. Um, but what I will say is overall here in IWM, we do have some issues to be concerned about. First, we've got a failure now along the downtrend here in the chart. And that again makes that lower high problem show up here in the market. Now as long as we can hold on to this price support, I think we're going to be fine. We could again just be winding around in this resting consolidation pattern. But if we were to fail that support here in the chart, then I would look for the next level down into here. And that could be damaging technically here to the chart, uh, breaking that support with a lower high, a lower low. That's where things get a little bit on the sketchy side um, for the market. Now, having said that, we still have this upside trend right in here that's trying to hold. So we try to hang on to this support level, try to hang on to this trend. Perhaps we can reverse this and move this back to the upside. But there is just that bit of uncertainty in here on that technical pattern. So watch that close. Now let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX, as I've been mentioning um, here, I, has been showing us quite a little bit of complacency, I think. And that is we've kind of gotten way ahead of ourselves in pushing this market up, particularly with the FOMC talking um, so hawkishly still suggesting 50 basis point increase. Now certainly a 50 basis point increase is, is a lowering of the 75 basis point increase but remember um, if we would have started off um, with a 50 basis point increase or normally a 50 basis point increase in the market is, is seen as very bearish and very hawkish. So um, 
uh, an interesting situation here and we've had some numbers in the market that continue to be a little bit of a concern here for that FOMC um, suggesting that they may have to kind of keep the pressure on um, this market so watch that closely now the good news here is the bulls are really still in control we had a little fear come in yesterday but we didn't break back through any of these resistance levels in the chart so right now I'm going to continue to say those bulls are in control of this market but I still want to warn that there may be a little bit of bullish complacency here thinking that the all clear has been sounded I am just not confident that is the case could be wrong but I'm going to err on the caution side here just a little bit that we may have pushed this rally a little bit too far too fast and we may need I'm not suggesting that we have to fall we may just need a longer consolidation to consolidate that big move and rest here in the market and with the uncertainty of an FOMC um, meeting coming up uh, mid-December there may be reason for that little bit of consolidation or rest here in the market to come into play. Now let's take a look at our uh, T2122. Our T2122 it, um, pulled back nicely yesterday and we ended up closing uh, just below that 50% line. So remember T2122 doesn't tell us the direction the market is going to go. It gives us those pressure points when we're overbought or oversold and so being kind of down here in that middle range on t2122 means that if the bulls can find inspiration well we've certainly opened up upside opportunity uh, for them if the bears continue to find inspiration we certainly have opportunity for that to move on lower so anything i think is possible here based on that t2122 and with volume being so low and momentum being so lacking right now um, it's kind of a coin toss as to who picks up um, that torch and, and drives in either direction now if we take a look at our t2108 you got to give this up to the bulls because even though the bears pushed back um, on uh, monday there was really no damage done here we did break down obviously just a little bit we've been pressing this pretty high and we've got this little teeny tiny move to the downside but if you look at this chart overall um, we're not really breaking down heavily here so we still have more support in the chart 68 percent of the stocks um, holding above their 50 day moving or 40 day moving average that's hardly a bearish um, scenario it may be a little bit of an overbought scenario but not a bearish scenario for the market if we take a look at our t2107 same thing is true um, we held up really well yesterday with that selling that came in oh, 40 almost 40 uh, five percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average and we've got a little bit of price support in here that could hold us and a whole lot more right in here so i don't see any reason for panic and again really no technical damage done to those charts yesterday with the selling albeit maybe a little bit painful if we take a look at our t21 01 well t2101 has been struggling here um, to show us any momentum we're kind of whipping back and forth and i think the reason for that is is we've just been working with some very low volume here in the market we're looking for some kind of inspiration whether it be the bulls or bears that pick up on that i think the quote the jury is still out on that for the day we'll just want to watch closely let's take a look at our economic calendar for today now we do have a bit more on that economic calendar that could move us around and we'll want to be prepared for the rest of this week because we're really going to start hitting into those jobs numbers and jobs has been a little bit as a sensitive place for the market here recently so um, first off today we're going to be getting this case shiller um, we'll want to watch that closely here today to see how those house prices are holding up um, in this market. We've got um, the house price index that will be here. It's not tip typically a market mover though so not a big worry there and then consumer confidence and they're looking for that confidence number to come in flat um, according to the consensus so watch that close we've got a 52 week bill auction doubt that that's going to be um, uh, you know all that market moving today keep in mind as you plan forward however there's that uncertainty that could come in here based on that GDP 
international trading goods has um, actually been kind of helpful for the market here recently so we'll want to watch that one but um, then we're going to start hitting that um, those jobs numbers ADP numbers here we got the mortgage applications then we're going to get jobless claims over here and the employment situation number on Friday so we're going to really start thinking about jobs and, and not not to forget the job openings report that's also going to be coming in here on Wednesday. And if you look right there, Jerome Powell um, comments coming in. So uh, tomorrow could be, you know, just one of those days that we may be waiting for. So it wouldn't be out of the question to continue to see low volume, a little bit of choppiness here as that uncertainty um, as we wait for those Wednesday uh, numbers, that GDP number could really keep that uncertainty a little bit high here in the market. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar for today. Now our earnings calendar, you know, we're really starting to diminish in those um, market moving earnings reports. But today is a little bit busier than we have seen um, the last few days of trading and um, I've got a few more notables on the list for today let's take a quick look at those uh, BZ um, UN will be reporting um, today keep an eye on that it's trying to break that downtrend here in the chart might be worth keeping an eye on we've had some retail doing pretty well recently uh, BILI um, also reporting here this morning looks like we're getting a little bit of bullishness popping up in there a little higher low holding in there so um, trying to move back up to that major downtrend and price resistance in the chart we're going to hear from CRWD um, CRWD has been trying to rally back up still fighting a downtrend so this could be an interesting report whether or not we will push on through or if we fail along that downtrend uh, we're gonna hear from HIBB today keep an eye on that well it looks like that's got a little bit of negative coming in here this morning it's been moving in a nice upside trend but looks like we're reacting to a little bit of price resistance here in the chart in that earnings report pushing us back down so watch that closely if we can hold on to that trend and this price support we're probably okay if that were to fail that would be a little bit of a problem this afternoon we're going to hear from um, Intuit um, into it had a little bit of selling yesterday and we've been winding this up in a interesting wedging pattern here in into it so I think it's about a 50 50 shot whether or not we pop out of the top or break to the bottom side here in there we'll want to watch that pretty closely this afternoon um, that's one that may have a little bit of market moving potential um, 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 net up is another that we'll want to pay attention to this afternoon as you can see that's been rallying up nicely here recently but we're running into some resistance in the chart so now it's going to be up to that earnings report to see whether or not we can follow through and you know notice that we had a little bit of selling in there yesterday uh, with that tech um, uh, pressure that we saw and then W day uh, will be this afternoon as well and you can see that again is struggling with this um, downside um, trend we've got this little upside move going on here again a bit of that wedging pattern showing up in here with some price resistance that still has to deal with so this could be an important report for W day let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be worthy to be helpful for your planning of the day if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that truly helps um, an awful lot in keeping those algorithms um, showing these videos to more folks and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that and thank you to everyone who shares these videos out on their social media feed you guys are truly awesome let's take a look at a few stocks that are of interest that could be setting up here in the market first off I want to point out Google um, Google 
has been struggling. There's been an activist, you know, investors out there trying to um, push Google into doing some layoffs and downsizing here just a little bit. Now you can see we have a little um, a resistance problem here in the chart, and you can see we've got. Um, a little bit of a failure possibly happening in here. Now, I wouldn't run for the door on this. I wouldn't suggest that this is um, going to collapse um, through this little support area here, but if it does, if we push down through here, then we know that a very typical pattern in the market is we make a low, we rally, and then sometimes we either retest or we come in here someplace and we make a higher low and that kind of ends the overall downtrend. So I wouldn't rule out that as a possibility and with the issues that we're seeing in tech, still quite a little bit of struggle here. There may be some short um, uh, opportunity here in Google. As you guys know, I've mentioned TTWO as a potential short. Talked about that yesterday just a little bit. We've rallied back to this price resistance here here in the chart um, still showing a lot of weakness here um, a bit of a double top pattern in that chart so if this were to push on down um, there may be an opportunity to short here I think we have to be kind of careful with that little price support in the chart but watch that closely um, another chart that I was looking at yesterday all of a sudden the symbol just escaped my my feeble brain here um, Oh my goodness. Well, I'll have to think of it later. Um, that we were looking at some bear call spreads and there could be, uh, for those folks that trade options, bear call credit spreads might be something to look at um, because we do have a lot of stocks that have rallied in a very parabolic move in their testing major resistance levels in the chart. There may be some nice premium that can be picked up on those trades. Um, just considering a little bit of neutralness coming into the market, a little bit of rest. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up to the long side. Uh, for those, let's take a look first off here. Um, who's, oops, wrong chart. Um, uh, take a look at Altria. Altria is setting up in a nice little uh, pattern here. We've got this downtrend right here that we broke. Notice we climbed back up here and we held this little higher low in here. Now, Altria is not one of those that I would suggest this is going to take off and be a rocket ship ride to the upside. But if you're interested in something like this, um, nice little higher low in here and that potential rally at least to that resistance in the chart may be possible and if you are more of a longer term uh, person um, in the market which is something that I do some of um, here um, I like the fact that this pays such a big dividend yield keep a close eye on um, um, Altria there may be an opportunity here a place that um, you might not have been looking because of our um, you know fight um, with anything in fossil fuels um, would be coal take a look at BTU BTU breaking up through some resistance in the chart now clearly we have these highs up here to be a little bit concerned about but we're holding in a nice pattern here on BTU um, as this continues to consolidate or rest might want to watch for that upside move here on that chart and you could also say the same um, um, of arch arch coal now arch coal this <laughs> getting a big sell-off here today because they just did a big special dividend here so pulling that back because of that big dividend or ex dividend here is today and um, getting a big pullback as a result of this huge dividend that they're pushing out here and uh, check it out arch coal has been offering up really big dividend payments so if this finds a little bit of uh, consolidation a little bit of rest or support um, there may be some opportunity here notice right in here the forward um, yield right now um, on this is showing up at 15% now 
15% yield this year might be a pretty decent thing to be thinking about. So keep a close eye on that. Other charts you may want to be keeping an eye on. Um, I think NVIDIA would be an interesting one to be watching here. Considering Intuit report today, um, uh, NetApp will also reporting, may get some inspiration in here if we can hold some support. Now, clearly we have a little bit of a problem in this chart. We've got this little higher or lower high that showed up here in, in NVIDIA. But if we can rest or consolidate this move out here, there may be some opportunities in that chart showing up. So keep a close eye on some of those. There's quite a few um, out here starting to show those bullish signs. But remember, there could be an awful lot of rest that shows up here in the market for a bit, just, just to consolidate the big move that we've seen. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fan fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here today. I do appreciate it. I want to wish you guys all of the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care everyone.